Hello and welcome to another Grand Arena Championship. I'm Heathen13 and this is Season 27, Week 3, Round 3. So, after not signing up all of last week, dropping down to some easier matches, I proceeded to do well in my first round and totally screwed myself on the second round. I had what looked to be a really big mismatch turned out to be a winnable match if I would have played it smarter, scouted it smarter, just been better. But I wasn't, took the loss in round two, and now in round three, I am up against an opponent who I'm pretty well matched up against. Their name is Torrendale. So let's look at the matchup. All right, the hotbot overview shows that I have the majority of the green on my side. Although their red is in a little bit more prime locations. Let's take a closer look. In the stats, the only thing I'm really looking at here is what were their lifetime banners in the legacy format? Were they skilled at the game? And do they play? And the answer to that is yes. 839,000 is a good score. They played, they're active, they know what they're doing. When we compare our rosters, you can see we're actually really close. 100,000 GP away from each other. Although all of that 100,000 is in the top 80 for him. I have more Zetas. We have the same number of Omicrons. I have a little bit of a speed advantage, but not much. And he's got a few more gear 13s than I do. But not a huge advantage like I'm used to seeing. Checking out the mods. And I have a pretty significant advantage in the mods. More speed basically across the board. And when we get to the relics, it is pretty much the same old story. I am short by 150 total relic levels compared to my opponent. Checking out Galactic Legends, and my opponent has three to my two. He has all three of the light side, whereas I only have my two. Although, I am set to unlock my Jedi Master Kenobi basically right after this GAC is done. I should have him up and running for next week, although I don't know how well geared he'll be. And he won't have his ultimate. So an improvement on that, but not uh, not the full-fledged Galactic Legend. Checking out the key characters and ships. And we match up all pretty well here. He's got a 7-star executor just like me. And I expect that to be on defense. So this match may just come down to who can clear the executor. Now, unfortunately, we are back to doing this late at night. You can see we're exactly halfway through the attack phase. Let me show you the board and see what's happened. He has already attacked and he was able to clear me, but he did have some slip ups. Down here on the bottom, he was able to one shot all of these squads, but he got quite a few low squads. He had three battles out of these four where he got less than 60 banners. Then up top, he actually dropped a battle against my Geos. I'm not sure what he was trying to take there. But again here, he struggled. His battle against Mon Mothma, he only got a 54. And both the other two, he only had a 60 and a 61. So not super efficient at all. In the back against my Maul and Dooku and Dash, he actually did really well against Maul and Dash. I think he had saved some GLs for the back. But then again, Dooku, only a 57. So my teams were doing a good job stripping banners from him throughout the entire match. Back here in the ships, he had to two-shot the executor, but he did get it down. He one-shot my other two fleets for decent banners. So again, if I can't get his executor down, then we lose. But I think we should get through the ground pretty easily. Knock on wood, of course I'm going to say that, and screw up battles left and right. But up here in the top, he left me a Mon Mothma, a Bosque team, but no Zam on it, a Vanilla Grievous team, and some Geos. Down here on the bottom, we do have one Galactic Legend, it's his Ray, but I kept my Jedi Master Luke for that. We've got JTR, a Qui-Gon Jinn, and a Crew team. Now this Qui-Gon Jinn team, though, he screwed up, and here on his uh, Anakin for his Righteous Fury, when he gets a bonus turn when an ally falls below 50% health, 
The next attack deals 100% more damage if all allies are Galactic Republic. And he has not one, but two Jedi in there, Old Ben and Ezra, who aren't Galactic Republic. So he's not getting that bonus. That makes this Qui-Gon Jinn squad a little less scary. So I've got my counters mapped out. I also have counters to his other GLs that I'm going to hold on for the back just in case they're there. I don't expect them to be there. His history shows that he usually only sets Ray, And based on his scores, I think he did use two GLs taking out my back. But in any event, let's start with this Ray. We're going to take my Luke. But we are going to swap out Ezra and Ayla. And we are going to put in old Ben. And I think we're going to go with Barris. Barris will give us extra ability blocks. Old Ben will give us ability blocks. Basically anything to keep Ray from doing her um, whirlwind. So we'll hit her with that. We'll go ahead and put this on Luke. Stun them all. And basically I just want to get ability block on her whenever possible. And beyond that, as long as she's got ability block, I just want to send her into damage immunity as quickly as possible. Did we get her there? Not quite. Yes, okay. Got her there. So now let's start picking on some other people. You know what? I need to send Basila and see if I can get an ability block. Got it. Uh, let's go ahead and get foresight up on everybody let's send, send some people over to chewy we got a couple more people in damage immunity and more almost the whole squad here is in damage immunity and now we've got that so at this point we're just gonna um send around the thing so we can get into ultimate now our ultimate is up and we'll just do our best to take this um, ultimate to the face. Hopefully not kill anybody. Everybody survive. Good. So let's go ahead and ability block some more. Do that. Killed some people. Let's send in Luke and Luke. And let's send in Luke some more. And let's kill her. Nice. Okay. Um, do we need to clean up anything in terms of health? I don't think we are going to get a chance. Nope. That could have been cleaner if I could have stretched out a little bit longer to get a little more health back or protection. But I'm okay with that. Um, against Qui-Gon, I'm actually... Even though it's not optimized, and I could try my Vader on it or my Bounty Hunters on it, I'm actually just going to take in SLKR. Um, I don't even see a real reason why I should not take him in. Um, it's just a question of who I want to take with him. Do I want to take anybody? Can he just solo that? I think he can just solo it. If I solo with him, then I can let uh, crew be his own squad. I don't need extra squads, but you know what? I don't need extra squads. Let's just take the whole group. Better safe than sorry. Really, the only thing here that I am need to worry about at all is... Um, is uh, losing the battle dropping a battle so if we can just do this and just kill everybody then why not just do this we'll lose a little health on a couple people well we'll lose a little protection on crew basically and because it was a galactic legend even his omicron didn't even work Honestly, 61's a little disappointing. 
triggering the uh, the AOE from Jedi Knight Anakin. That was dumb. I should have just attacked him first. I didn't need to kill Qui-Gon Jinn first. So that was a total misplay on my part. Let's take out Jedi Training Ray with CLS. Let's try and start getting more efficient. Like I said, my opponent wasn't very efficient, but if I can be super efficient, I could actually build myself in a second loss if I need it. So I think that's what I want to try and do is give myself as much of a um, cushion as possible. Oh, I hate your dodges. Let's do that. Get a stun. Ugh. Bummer, now I'm burning. But now he's dead. Let's see if I can get all that protection back from all that burning. Or yet another inefficient win. Yeah, not doing well here with the efficiency. All right, next is my Bad Batch. And we'll jump right in. They all start with um, insp Inspired or whatever. So I get to rip all that and get all of that um, turn meter. Although, even though I don't think I get the turn meter because of... Um, Hux, but it doesn't really matter because my guys were faster than theirs anyway. So we'll just work on doing all that damage, that true damage to everybody. Keep sending it back over to uh, Wrecker. And man, these guys punch up so well. And control the team so well. All right, I'm expecting Aiden, a Vader, and a Rolo in the back. Did he change things up, or is that what he went with? Nope, that's what he went with. All right, let's jump to the top and take these guys out. Grievous, uh, I guess, is the toughest one, so we'll go with... Jedi Knight Revan for that. Or should I go Padme? No, just go Revan. And I need to pick up some other Jedi for this. We'll do that. And, hmm. That's fine. We'll do Ezra as well. Ezra is nice because he has yet another way to call um, Yoda in. We are just going to swap this over to Yoda. Try and get some of these other guys exposed. Oh, B1 is doing the thing where he's visible, but he's not really visible. So let's mark B2. Let's get him down first. There we go. Oh, and Ezra has already triggered Sacrifice. Um, let's clear that immunity from Droidica. And let's see if we can get some stuns going with... Oh, come on. Leave my Jolie alone. We're going to actually... Um, need to get some healing on him. So I need to call him in to assist when I can. Like here. Oh, and there he goes. We're going to need to... Call Jolie in again. And we're going to get our res up here in a second. We'll spread our foresight first. And I'm a little worried that Greaves is about to take a turn. We need to get this guy down. I'll be really frustrated if I lose this. Let's pass this over to Jolie. Because we want Jolie to take basics so that he can uh, get his res up as soon as possible. Unfortunately, we're stuck banging on B1 because Droidica is currently um, 
Oh, goodness gracious. All right, Jolie, get a turn. Ugh. All right, well, we'll get our res on our next one here. If we survive. Okay. Wow. All the way down to Jolie. Only Jolie. Bring them all back. Good job, Jolie. Holy moly, that was sketchy. This is what you, happens when you uh, take some regulars off the squad and start putting some other people on it. That was a nice stun there. All right, well, danger averted, I guess, but wow, man, that was not good at all. Oh, and there was my one guy who can dispel the um, damage immunity from him. So let's keep calling Joe Lee to get another res up because I need to get um, need to get Ezra back in here. Come on, Ezra. Heal them. And pass it to Ezra. 62 looks okay, but man, that was terrible. Um, all right, let's go kill the Geos with Vader. Whole lot of like usual teams coming out today. Not doing anything groundbreaking or noteworthy at all. But sometimes it just works out that way. The teams that I tend to keep for uh, for offense match up really well against what he set for defense. And so kind of get lucky that way. Take the hit here. That way we can make sure that we get him down. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to, somebody's going to get hit by spy. Unless I can stun him. Nice. All right. Well, nobody gets hit. It was just Vader, and I think we're going to get him all healed up. And we'll finish it off with a blade. Nice. All right. So normally here against... This Mon Mothma, I would take Aiden because they're kind of built that way. But I think I'm going to bring Padme because I have her. Um, again, mitigating risk of something going wrong and just losing it. I think if I'm going to keep one on the bench, I'd rather have be Aiden that I don't use than Padme that I don't use. So we'll do it this way. Plus, Ahsoka is really nice to use. Um, against Mon Mothma because when Cara Dune's there, because she will just dispel. Um, she'll dispel all of the taunts. Uh, we'll keep going on wedge, and we'll insta kill. Uh, let's insta. Let's let's pile on bigs. We'll insta kill. Um. Cara Dune. Ugh. I mean, the one good thing is all they're assisting is giving me back protection. So, I mean, that's nice, I guess. Uh, let's insta-kill Kao Katarn. And then we'll take out Cara Dune. Probably should have healed there. That was bad. A little bit of a mistake, a misplay. Couple big hits here and she'll be gone. Nice. All right, all we're left here is the boss team. Um, so we will take Jedi Training Ray against them. And I actually made a swap at the last second. I kind of set my defense the night before, just kind of generic defense, saving. 
my GLs plus whatever I thought I might need. Uh, didn't think I was going to have time to scout. And then I found some time, which allowed me to um, realize that I wasn't going to need gas. Uh, and so since I didn't need gas for offense, it allowed me to put him on defense and take Jedi Training Ray off of defense. So kind of nice to be able to um, have this squat when I didn't think I would have him initially. Let's see if we can get a stun here. Nice. Let's go over to IG. Keep spreading the inspiration. We'll wave down Bosk again. We are just going to end up having to live with Dengar being Dengar. Throw out a burning. All right. Hopefully we'll get some um, Illuminated Destiny and we'll throw our healing grenade here. Get some of this back. It's always nice when you can get max banners. With a little luck, we'll be able to make that happen. Excellent. And the big reveal on ships. There is the executor along with home one and finalizer. So I have my malevolence, I have my negotiator, I have my finalizer and my home one. So I kept four good fleets for offense, figuring I'm probably gonna need two of them in order to two shot the executor because it's all going to come down to ships. Let's go do the back first. I just need to check the speed on Vader. 234, even with his bonuses, my Imperial Troopers will go first. So we will come in here, take these guys out. And let's get rid of Thrawn first because he is so squishy. Rip their turn meter away from everybody but Vader, of course. But now let's now that we've got the turn meter train going, we'll take him out. Wow, he was squishy apparently. So things didn't start out well in terms of efficiency, but they've been getting better. That leaves me with this low level Iden team. I am just gonna wampa it. I don't have any concerns really about it going poorly or anything. Because once he takes a turn, he resists everything. So, I will uh, make sure I get protection back and then I'll start getting my offense up. I do know that this can go bad. I've seen it go bad for people. Um, I want to say that it's gone bad for me once, maybe? I don't really remember, honestly. Okay, that was a nice big womp, as it were. I don't think I need to keep building up offense against this low level of a Iden team, so we'll just let Wampa do his thing. All right, and lastly is this Rolo squad. I've got both my Grievous and my Bounty Hunters. Um, I'm tempted to do Bounty Hunters, but I think I'm gonna do Grievous. I think it's gonna be a little more effective. I'm, they, they would both do fine. 
I know I'll lose a couple banners just because of the way Grievous pulls health from his droids, friends, but uh, in general, I think it kind of doesn't matter. We'll just make sure our guys are healthy. Grievous will come in and smash some face. Let's kill Han so we can't bring people back. Keep healing. And we're done. All right. So got through the ground crews with no fails, which is great. Now I need to get through these guys, and it's where, you know, the chance for struggles to happen, happen. We will go straight in with the normal group. Ooh, not you. You. And I will leave Suntrack behind, because if I need to double tap, no, I won't. Because if I need to double tap, I'm probably going to do it with my home one. But we need to grab them. And we'll cross our fingers. We'll hope for good RNG. And um, if we can get this down in one or two, I think we should be good. Normal opening, who they decided to target. Okay, one of those. We are gonna do this just because I prefer that to doing the AoE early. If my little guys survive, then they hit harder when they assist. Doesn't look like he's gonna survive. Okay. All right, let us see what we get in terms of our taunt. Got lucky. Hope for no dodges. That is the opposite was what I was hoping for. Interesting, a bomber. Okay, so that is not a good thing for him usually. I know that this team is both an empire and a bounty hunter capital ship, but in general, Anytime you bring in Empire, it just slows you down from getting your ultimate. So I tend to do better against the squads that have Empire as, re as reinforcements. So we're going to bring in this guy for the chafe. Chaff, whatever. I'm not going to waste um, the second special because there's no breach. So I'm not going to land the buff immunity yet. Now there is. And... Here comes death. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to worry about anything else until I can get my ultimate off with my malevolence, which should be next round. One more. So we just got to survive a round. Please survive a round. Come on, guys. Um, I'll go ahead and throw buzzies up. Because I think I'm going to get an attack before he does. Okay. Good, good. Let's go hard against him. He's already got buzz droids of them. Let's bring in soldier. And get some big hits on... Mm, that was unfortunate. Assist? Yes. All right. We're going to one-shot this. Very nice. That's pretty much the battle, the match, I think. I don't want to get too ahead of myself, but usually um, that's a good sign. We're going to take Finalizer against his home one. As long as things fall correctly, then this is usually an easy win. If things don't fall correctly, um, things can get bad. So let's hope. Let's cross our fingers. Got lots of teams left, which is great. Got my negotiator and my home one squad. So I'm not going to go in super heavy because I've got backup. 
I just need to get through these two squads. Even if it takes me a two shot or two, I think I have enough to pull out the win. So we're gonna do hunted on the Falcon. And then we are gonna hit them to stun them. And then we're gonna call the assist. And that's all she wrote. Now I'm gonna go after the, um, the Y-Wing. I like to go after the Y-Wing first because Biggs heals himself or, you know, every time they get a target block or whatever, they, he heals himself. So I, I'd rather take out the Y-Wing first because I feel like I'm sinking damage into the, um, into Biggs's X-Wing if I do it the other, other way. Ooh, almost got him down with the assists. There we go. Nice, nice. And let's call the assist here. Almost got Big Z down. This should do it. And just one more ship left. Okay, maybe more than one. Hand it over and kill him. And assist and kill him. Nice, excellent. Really well done. And that leaves me this finalizer with my negotiator. And if something goes wrong here, then that would suck. Um, but hopefully not. I'll bring all three of these guys in. Again, even if it does, I've got my own home one to come in for cleanup. So hopefully, cross our fingers, we can come out of this with a clean run. Okay. Who are they putting on Didon? Yeah, that's frustrating. Uh, I am going to resist the urge to put the uh, unending loyalty back on him. Instead, I'm just going to give him turn meter and hopefully finish this guy off. Oh, so close. Let's bring in our heals. And of course, you know, we can't uh, can't attack right away because they keep you from having the, what do you call it, the turn meter gain. So that's a little frustrating, but it will be fine putting it back on him. And we will get right back on to crew as soon as we get a chance. So we're going to force him to hit the Y-Wing for a little bit. And there we go. Nice. All right. Now their team is neutered. And my team is not yet. So oops, basic there. Oh, I was put in the wrong place, actually. Thought I was attacking the old uh, tank. Um, I'd rather do the mass assist than the swarm, I think. Just so I get the the buff from that and big hit nice all right one shots all around really happy with that and there we have it a victory total is 1820 to 1738 it certainly wasn't the most efficient match i've ever played but i am definitely happy with how it turned out a little bummed that it wasn't a three and a week but I will take two and one. I want to say thank you, Torrendale, for the match. It was a pleasure doing battle with you. And I want to say thank you all for watching. And I hope to see you again next round in our final week of Season 27.